Hi guys, it's your girl and welcome back to my channel. How you guys doing? You miss me because I miss you. If you don't know me, my name is Mara Girl. And in today's video, I want to show you how to tackle that under the cabinet sink. I know I promised you the bedroom tour, which will come, I think after this video. But I had to do this first and do that is unnerving me, ungodly. It's the disorganization that I have under this counter, under this kitchen sink. So what I want to do is show you, and also I have a leak. So I had a garbage disposal that was replaced. So the other one left the leak. And you know I have like the white cabinets on the inside. When you have these white cabinets, you have to be really, really careful and clean them constantly. They are my high maintenance. So anyway, they left the stain and it was kind of like yucky looking. So I want to take care of that situation. So I want to show you my cabinet and how it's so disorganized. And sometimes, you know, some of us have those cabinets that are a little disorganized. So we're going to tackle under that kitchen sink. All right, guys, so I'm going to take you to Walmart. You're going to shop with me for a few minutes, and I'm going to show you what type of containers I got for that. Also, I'm going to show you some cleaning supplies that I use from Silver Cleaner all the way to what I use for the sink, the tile, and the floors, all right? So I'm going to show you my labeling system as well. So, you know, just in case you have other family members that, you know, how you have things that your family members put stuff all over the place, you know what I mean? And then when you're looking for a clean supply, you can't find it. So that is what I want to tackle as well. All right, guys, so let's get started. All right, guys, it's your more girl, and welcome back to my channel. Now the first thing I want to do is clean the bottom of this cabinet out. So I'm going to remove all the cleaning supplies in this shelf and um, the bucket out and I'm going to start this cabinet. I want it free and clear. So I'm going to put these cleaning supplies on top of the kitchen counter. Okay, once I have everything clear and free, I'm going to vacuum. So I'm going to just get rid of all the debris that is left here, you know, so anything, any particles that fell down, and then I'm going to spray. I'm using this cleaner with bleach, and I'm gonna really saturate this because I want this to kind of just sit and soak. Okay, because this is like really dirty down here, so I needed to soak for a while. And I normally do something strong. Um, it's a cleaner like with bleach. Like the Mrs. Myers to me is a nice cleaner, but when I want something really that's going to tackle something harsh and hard to clean, I want either a bleach or I want to use Zep. And Zep is usually at Home Depot. Now the next thing I'm going to do now is use my cleaning tabs. Now guys, these cleaning tabs I made, there's a DIY I made from Mrs. Meyer's products. I use her dish liquor, her cleaner, citric acid, and I'm using my eraser. And I also use um, some essential oils because I like a nice, like a nice lemony fresh scent to these. Now let's tackle the bottom of this cabinet. As you can see here that it is coming up you see I let it soak and this is a strong cleaner so make sure you ventilate and you also have your windows open for that and so sometimes you if you have asthma guys make sure you use a mask for this because this is a really strong product Over here, you can see that most of the debris came up and most of the cleaner came up. The stain came up just about. You're going to have some stains left over because it's been sitting there a while. So what we're going to do next is just let this dry and then we're going to head off to Walmart. So I'm going to go to Walmart to look for some supplies. Um, I already have my cleaning supplies. So I don't need any cleaning supplies, but I do want to take you down housewares and to show you some of the um, storage containers I use for my under the cabinet organization and also again guys i like i showed you i will show you later how i like to label just so i know where everything is at all times i like everything to have a certain space so i'm coming down the aisle and this aisle here is where you have your containers your food containers for your cereals for your any nuts or grains so these containers i like so i'm looking at the different size of the containers
Okay, so I'm checking out the different storages. There's a 21 cup here. Now, something like this I would like for the laundry room to use for like the tabs for your um soap powder. And up top here is the four and a half cup, which is a little bit too small. Our, uh, the 16 cup here is just too large because it won't stack on top. It'll really be too big for the cabinet. But I like this size right here, which is a seven and a half cup. That is a perfect size for what I need. Because that way, and look how secure it is. It stacks one on top of the other. And guys, this is another reason why I go to Walmart and not Home Goods because look at the supplies and look at this three pack. You know, but I want all the same size. But this is good as well because it's only fifteen dollars. The reason why I go to Walmart instead of the other stores is I want to see a quantity. I want to make sure that if I need four or six, four or six pieces. And normally when you go to, like we know, when we go to one of the other stores, and yes, we do all like and love them, but they don't have the quantities all the time. And that's the problem. I don't have the quantities at this Walmart. I know I can go to another Walmart or order online and I know they're going to have the same product. That is why I mostly stay with that. Now coming over here are the dishcloths. Now I use these for cleaning only and I keep these under the sink as well. Now when it comes to dishcloth and dish um, towels, I would never put them under my sink because for this prime example, what happened where I have a leak because of my garbage disposal went bad or if my dishwasher backs up. So I wouldn't want to have that chance of having some clean dishcloths that I use to wash dishes under my sink. All right, I keep them above the counter or I put them on my towel rack. Another thing I decided to do is do a, a liner for the bottom. So once I, you know, clean and prep it, I'm gonna put a liner there. So this time it's protected. And also God, I use these liners for the drawers for my Alex shells for my makeup desk as well. And it keeps my um, containers from sliding. So these are really cool. So again, this is under $10 guys. So this is a great thing to put on your shelf Okay, coming over here is now, this is exactly what I was looking for. Look at this is for the under the counter and these little bins, they only $3.87. So dirt cheap here at Walmart. So with these, they are so stackable and I'll show you how. What you do is it's flip the gray part off and they stack on top of each other, but I won't be using it for that. I just need to house my cleaning supplies. And also I have room, as you see the lid here, for label making. All right, guys, let's get back to the cabinet and let's get the rest of this project done. All right, guys, let's get started. Okay, guys, so this is a product I will be using for the cabinet to kind of restore it back to um, that white where it was stained. So this is a stain blocker this blocks heavy interior stains this is kilts this is at the home depot i think this only costs maybe like four or five dollars no it's five dollars and some change okay so it's for interior or base so you can use it on the inside i have used this but make sure if you use anything like a spray paint it doesn't smell as strong as spray paint from when i used it before i do open up all my windows and i vent as well but it doesn't have that small that's pretty strong smell so so again, I use this and it cleans the cabinets out. So guys, let's get started. I'm going to show you how quickly this works. Okay, so make sure you shake the can, you know, really good. And make sure that the nozzle matches up on the can so you can have a nice even flow. All right, this is an easy thing to do. It's basically like spray paint. And remember, you want a nice even flow going back and forth. You don't want it to run. So just make sure, there again, make sure you line it all up. So again, I'm shaking it again. And I'm doing a light flow. I'm only gonna do the edge there. I don't need to do the sides. And I'm only gonna do the bottom. And you see how clean and white that looks? It's not showing you like spray paint. It's just a blocker. A lot of people use it for their interior basements, you know, because the kilt is used for that. If you have an old home, especially the East Coast homes, so if you have basements, that's what they use a lot of these products for. But now it comes in a spray can. So you want to probably try this product because look how it's this even. Look how bright white that is. And I'll probably do maybe one more coating. I'm going to let this dry overnight and then try again in the morning. Again, like I said, make sure windows are open and everything is vented properly.
these are the containers I got from Walmart. So what I'm going to do now, and you can see that they are already labeled. So I am just going to separate all my supplies and put them in each container. The um, bins are ready and they're already labeled. Now I'm just going to divide my cleaners and put them in each one. As you can see here, in order to stack them, you just have to flip the gray tabs and the bins just stack right on top of each other. Now I won't be stacking up my bins because of course the cleaning supplies are way too tall and I won't be using anything underneath that. So I'm gonna go with this theory. I'm only gonna use the bins side by side and just put the supplies in them and I'm gonna divide them into each bin. Now guys, this is the silver clean, the white silver clean I use to clean my silver. And also if it's really hard to clean, I use the bar keepers. The cleanser and I also use the liquid now I'm not too crazy about bar keepers it does a great job but to me it gets a little chalky especially that one and also it gets too abrasive towards your sulfur and sometimes my pieces seem scratch and here it is my favorite supplies also are zep I like Home Depot's brand of zep supplies so when I have like really really tough hard to stains like I showed you before I use zep so now I'm just stacking them in and then that's it guys, it's time to get this ready. And also what I'm gonna do is just line everything up and position exactly how I want it under the cabinet. As you can see here, this is an overview of all the items that's going under the cabinet. So I have the two bins here to the right, and then I will have my the two tall ones that I use for sponges. Now when I label it, because it has a black lid, I use the white tape, and when I have the white lid, I use the black for my labeling. And as you can see, and as you can see here, there are my cleaning tabs, gloves, SOS pads, and also dish washer tabs. Coming over to the left, you'll see a small bin here. I can't remember exactly where I got that small bin, but those are all the cleaning cloths in there. And also like when you get the little pop-up um, wipes from the Dollar Tree, so they will be housed there as well. All right guys, so everything is ready for under the counter. So the next thing is to put in that liner. All right, so once the liner goes in, I place everything and that is it. All right guys, so let's get started with this. Let's finish this project up. I just want to show you real quick this quick product this heavy-duty scouring stick 
this is the first time I've ever used this. It's amazing. So let me know in the comment section, have you ever used this product before? It cleans your porcelain like your toilet, especially here in Nevada where we have like a lot of lime in our toilets. It scrubs it. It sort of looks like a, um, a file, like a fingernail file that you would use to scrub and it didn't scratch it. I wouldn't put this on your silver, but also use it for different products like maybe the inside of your oven if you want to clean out the grill. So let me know if you ever tried this product. It is awesome. This is the second best product I love next to the eraser. Okay, this is the end of this video. Let me know if you like this. Hopefully you did. So if you get any tips, let me know what works for you and if anything helped. All right, guys, let's get this bedroom done. Okay, so let's do this bedroom tour. And thanks again, guys, again, for being so patient with me and my illness. All right, guys, this is your more girl, and I'll see you at the next video.